Hello everybody, welcome to Press Start. Uh, my name is Mac G, we got over here Link, and this is our first uh, episode uh, and we'll be talking about video games and everything related about video games, even like accessories, um, figurines, name it. And we got it. it. We got it. We right? definitely got this. <laughs> so, uh, this first episode we're going to talk about uh, Blur, the game that came out a couple of weeks ago. So uh, we're gonna play uh, Blur and talk about it. Uh, we're gonna have a split screen match. I believe this is your first game. Mm -hmm. um, so let's let's get into it. First time playing it, I don't know what to expect. See so, yeah, out here, we got a couple of, we got a couple cars to choose from. I'm gonna pick a little faster car this time. Oh, it's a Camaro. Ooh, I'm definitely driving a Camaro. What are you driving, Mac? I'm driving a Nissan, Nissan 350Z. One of my friend's dad's got one of those. Are you serious? Yeah, man, that's sweet. We should, like, you know, uh, sponsor us or something. Yeah. <laughs> We're repping his car. It's like, yo, <laughs> get some money. <laughs> so it's the first match. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. So, um, this game came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, how long have you been playing it for? Uh, to be honest, for like a day. So oh, I, really? just, I just got it yesterday. Okay. And, uh, um, I'll be honest, uh, last year when I first saw. Blur and E3. Um, I was like, what is Bizarre Creation doing? Why, or why are they making it it's such an arcade game? Because Project Gotham Racing, I love those games. And it kind of it's made by up, the same guys, right? Made by the same guys who made Project Gotham Racing series. And um, wow. I, love, I love that series. It's, it's like a mix of arcade and simulation. So when I watched the video, I was like, okay, Blur's going to be a horrible game. I don't think, you know. But then I got into beta. Um, How'd you get into the beta? Uh, read on the forums that they were, you know, they were taking uh, uh, application for the beta. You go on their website. Uh, the earlier, the better, of course. And of course, it kind of counts if you're in a different country, uh, Canada or you know Germany, Australia. So they, they want, to, you know, they want to check the service all around the world. Uh, How, you know, consumers are, exactly, uh, you know, what kind of connection reacting to the game? Yeah. Exactly. Plus that too. So when I played the beta, I was like. Shock! I you know it can prove you wrong. It was so much fun, and I was like, okay, I really like this game. Yeah, it seems. I mean, it's it's. I'm, I'm in tenth place right now, so this is definitely not fun for me. Uh, but it does seem like a pretty cool game. I, I it is to say. very good controls, and I was not looking forward to uh, power ups. I'm like, okay, that's too much. That's like. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Mario Kart in here. It's like we got a. Uh, we got that one weapon that kind of reminded me of a red shell. I know. Yeah. It's, a lot of people say it's like Mario Kart. I play Mario Kart, and I'm not gonna lie, I prefer this over Mario Kart. I yeah. There's gonna be a lot of haters, you know? Yeah, there's but a lot of Mario fans out there yes. definitely gonna get on that comment you just had. But uh, I do have to say the Wii version of Mario Kart was a complete disappointing. It was. Uh, compared to Double Dash and uh, the N64 yeah, version. So, so how's, uh, yeah, how's the uh, single player like? Um, I like it so far. There's no particular story. Um, there's no particular storyline to the game. Um, um, it's just regular. You level up. Uh, you get more fans. You get more lights. Apparently, in this game you gotta get more lights in this level. What are these lights uh, supposed to do? It just it just levels your your car up. Uh, so, so you know, you go faster, better handling, and that kind of stuff. You, you can you can customize your power up later on, uh, but it just the more lights you get, uh, the better you get points, the more fans you get, uh, and you can actually pick a rival from your friend list. Mm -hmm. 
and then it'll just uh, on the scorecard will show what that rival did. So I pick one of my buddies, and he has this game, the Sound Clash, and um, and I picked him as a rival. And now every time I play a certain level, it, it compares my stats to his stats. Okay, so you don't have to actually play on live. It's well, I mean, you have to have live to have that feature. But yes, you don't exactly. actually play head to head. You just uh, yeah, exactly. Just play single. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's and I, I don't, I don't even have to keep on checking. I'm uh, going on his name and checking at what he did. Automatically, the game will tell me because now he's I picked selected as my rival. So it's like a pretty cool game feature. Yeah, pretty cool. And one of the awesome features this game has, uh, I don't know a lot of people <clears throat> will like it or not, but I uh, I like it. It's you can connect your Facebook account and your Twitter account with this game. Every time you unlock a car, unlock a level, or if you beat your friend score, you can right away press one button and share it on your Facebook wall or you know on your Twitter feed. You can just uh, tweet about it. I tweeted a couple of things last night actually. So, which yeah, I saw on your Twitter. Which was kind of cool, actually, to be honest. Uh, and I believe a lot of other developers are gonna take that into account and, and you know implement that because you know sometimes I know a lot of people say I don't care if you unlock a different level, I don't care if you unlock a different character. But to be honest, you you want to talk about it, you want you want people to know. Yeah, some people definitely care. It's like you know, so some people are excited. I mean, like people on Twitter have got like millions of followers. Like they care about their every second, exactly. right? Which reminds us, you should follow us on our uh, Twitter account at uh, Press Start. Press Start, exactly. Um, follow us and we'll give you uh, updates when we're making new episodes and whatnot. Exactly. So the uh, race just finished, uh, this, I believe, was your first stream. What do you think of it? Oh, uh, hard. <laughs> I came in last. And Natalia beat us. Wow. Yeah, um, it's uh, Natal's uh, <laughs> wife. Uh, she's out to get us <laughs> because we've been playing with Natal too much. Don't let it be, you know, we've already played with Natal. Yeah. All right, guys. That was Blur uh, by uh, Bizarre Creation, publisher Activision, right over here. And uh, so, what do you think? Uh, your first race? Uh, uh, it's it's hard to say. Something. I mean, I only played one race. It was uh, definitely an interesting game, and maybe I'm going to give it a you know a little bit more try uh, later on. And uh, it's a. I guess. I mean, I would I would probably pick it up. I think I would buy this game. It's uh, it's a pretty sweet game. I just kind of have to get the hang of it and not come in last place anymore. I'm not that great with racing games. Uh, oh. So, do you have a score for it? Or um, I can't really say much. <laughs> after playing it for like literally five, six hours last night and, uh, you know, having a couple of matches on split screen, um, I would give it an 8.8. .8. I think it's a solid game. Uh, it's, uh, it's all about the fun factor, right? So, it has all the features, amazing fun factor. For a split screen, very few games actually do that nowadays. Yeah, that's definitely that's true. That's a huge plus for me. I know, like, it's a very, it's a very simple for a split screen, but it's it's there at least, you know. And uh, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, excellent game, bizarre creation, you know, uh, good job, and uh, yeah.